How do you quickly edit audio to remove the ums and ahs to make you sound more confident? I'm going to show you how to do it. My name is Michelle and I'm going to show you a pretty cool and affordable program to make audio editing a little easier. The software is called Descript and it's also really great for producing scripts of your audio so that you can add captions to your videos. I use this for editing podcasts and it makes life so much easier. So let's dive in. The first thing that we need to do in the Descript program is to create a new project. So I'm just gonna come up to this new button up here and we're gonna hit project. I'm gonna give my project a name. I'm gonna call it Michelle's intro. I'll then hit create project. Now I am in the editor. So I have the ability to drop audio and video files in here. I can use this to completely edit any audio or video files that I want to. But the purpose of this tutorial today is to show you how to remove those ums and ahs quickly. So I am going to drag in an audio file that I have off screen. And it's gonna give me a message that the transcript will be ready in a few minutes. I'm gonna hit done. So what it's doing is automatically transcribing my file. So it would do this for anything that you pull into that window, whether video or audio. Today I'm just using an audio file and it's pretty short, it's only 12 seconds long. So once the transcribing is done, we can now see my script. Let's just play it through once and we'll see how this sounds. I'll hit the play button up top. Hi, my name is Michelle and I love teaching others how to um, create things themselves. I've done marketing and design for about uh, 15 years now and I'm ready to share what I know with you. Doesn't sound like the most confident statement in the world. It's those pesky little ums and ahs that make it sound a little strange. So the best thing that this tool does, not only did it produce this script pretty quickly and you do have the ability, if it gets a word wrong, you can, you can update your script and change it, but it's highlighting a couple of things. You can see that the um and the uh are underlined. And so all I have to do to remove those is right click them and then I have the option to remove filler words. So if I click this, it's gonna give me one more option over here. And down at the bottom, I have the ability to delete it or I could ignore it. And then there's also a slider down here to replace with a gap clip. Now, if you have a video that you are editing and you're wanting to take the ums and uhs out of the audio, but leaving the video intact, this is where you would enable the replace with gap clip. If you don't have this option, it will make those hard cuts in the video and it could look choppy. So if you don't want the video to be affected at all, choose this option. Under remove media, I have two options. I can delete or I can ignore. Deleting will remove the word completely from the script and ignoring will put a strike through in the script of where the word was. I only have the ability to replace with gap clip with the delete option. I'll show you what the ignore looks like. If I say I'm gonna ignore, I have the ability to choose just the one word or I can apply to all. I wanna apply to all just to make things go really quickly. All right, it has finished that. And so let's scroll back up here. And the nice thing about having these words identified to the audio timeline is like you can easily navigate your video or your audio file to, if you're not sure where you were talking about a specific thing, you could be like, oh, here it is. And then it'll take you directly to that. So I can click up here where the high is and then hit play again. Hi, my name is Michelle and I love teaching others how to create things themselves. I've done marketing and design for about 15 years now and I'm ready to share what I know with you. So there we have it and it sounds a lot better. It's just deleted those ums and uhs. And so what it did was it, it actually created a quick cut there in those two locations. So let's say with those quick cuts that I wanted to adjust sort of the gaps between those words, I can actually just use the select tool and then I can come down here and then I can shorten that gap. And so you can do that with all areas that have a cut in it. So if I wanna shorten that beginning, I can just edit that audio there. Same goes with the ending. You can just move and drag and pull those little selectors. Might want a little bit more there just to edit your file. And so if you have any places within your audio file that you need to just cut out, you can do so if you have any really long pauses. So it makes editing really easy. And the crazy thing is if you do have the pro version, you can actually do something called overdub and you can put in words that you want it to say and it's gonna 
make it sound like it's your own voice if you needed to correct something that was said within your content. So pretty crazy, but it's an awesome tool. And like I said, it is pretty affordable. There is a free tier that allows you to do a couple hours of transcription. I'm actually on the creator plan. I pay monthly, so it's only $15 a month for me. You can actually knock that down to $12 a month if you pay for it annually. And then the pro option is $24 a month, but you get a lot more options. You have the ability to overdub your voice. You also have the ability to remove additional filler words besides the ums and the uhs. So what do I do after I'm done editing my file? So the only thing that I need to do now, if I'm good to go with my file, is to export it. All I need to do is go up to this share button up here. I'll hit share and then I'm gonna export. And then I've got the ability to export directly to a couple of programs. Looks like we have Audiogram, YouTube. I can do just a regular file export. You know, I can do that text file if I want to export the transcript. Also have the option for subtitles. I've got the audio option, and then I can even do timeline export. So if there is this additional program that you're using to edit things, you can actually export it right into these programs, which is kind of nice. So for this example, I would just hit the audio export, and then it's going to export a MP3 file. I would just need to hit this button, and that's all there is to it. Let me know what you think about Descript in the comments. If you have any topics that you'd like to see a tutorial on, I'm happy to take requests. As always, I'd love for you to subscribe if you like these videos and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.